Anti-Semitism is hostility to, prejudice, or discrimination against Jews. A person who holds such positions is called an anti-Semite. Anti-Semitism is considered to be a form of racism. Anti-Semitism may be manifested in many ways, ranging from expressions of hatred of or discrimination against individual Jews to organized pogroms by mobs or police forces, or even military attacks on entire Jewish communities. Although the term did not come into common usage until the 19th century, it is also applied to previous and later anti-Jewish incidents. Notable instances of persecution include the Rhineland massacres preceding the First Crusade in 1096, the Edict of Expulsion from England in 1290, the 1348-1351 persecution of Jews during the Black Death, the massacres of Spanish Jews in 1391, the persecutions of the Spanish Inquisition, the expulsion from Spain in 1492, the Cossack massacres in Ukraine from 1648 to 1657, various anti-Jewish pogroms in the Russian Empire between 1821 and 1906, the 1894-1906 to Dreyfus Affair in France, the Holocaust in German-occupied Europe during World War II and Soviet anti-Jewish policies. Though historically most manifestations of anti-Semitism have taken place in Christian Europe, since the early 20th century, especially under the influence of Nazi Germany, anti-Semitism has spread to the Middle East, resulting in Arab and Muslim antipathy to Jews and sometimes attacks on Jewish communities leading to the Jewish exodus from Arab and Muslim countries. The root word Semite gives the false impression that anti-Semitism is directed against all Semitic people, e.g., including Arabs, Assyrians and Arameans. The compound word antisemitismus was first used in print in Germany in 1879 as a scientific-sounding term for Judeness, and this has been its common use since then. The origin of anti-Semitic terminologies is found in the responses of Moritz Steinschneider der Tuthe. Views of Ernest Renan as Alex Bean writes, the compound antisemitism appears to have been used first by Steinschneider, who challenged Renan on account of his anti-Semitic prejudices. A Vienna Falk similarly writes, the German word antisemitish was first used in 1860 by the Austrian Jewish scholar Moritz Steinschneider in the phrase antisemitish warile. Steinschneider used this phrase to characterize the French philosopher Ernest Renan's false ideas about how Semitic races were inferior to Aryan races. Pseudoscientific theories concerning race, civilization, and progress had become quite widespread in Europe in the second half of the 19th century, especially as Prussian nationalistic historian Heinrich von Treitschke did much to promote this form of racism. He coined the phrase, the Jews are our misfortune, which would later be widely used by Nazis. According to Aviana Falk, Treitschke uses the term, Semitic, almost synonymously with, Jewish. In contrast to Renan's use of it to refer to a whole range of peoples, based generally on linguistic criteria. According to Jonathan M. Hess, the term was originally used by its authors to, stress the radical difference between their own, anti-Semitism, and earlier forms of antagonism toward Jews and Judaism. In 1879 German journalist, Wilhelm Marr published a pamphlet, Der Sieg der Judenthems über das Germanenthem. Warm nicht confessionellen Standpunkt aus Betrachtet. This use of Semitismus was followed by a coining of Antisemitismus, which was used to indicate opposition to the Jews as a people and opposition to the Jewish spirit, which Marr interpreted as infiltrating German culture. His next pamphlet, Der Weg zum Siege der Germanenthems über das Judenthem, presents a development of Marr's ideas further and may present the first published use of the German word antisemitismus, antisemitism. The pamphlet became very popular, and in the same year he founded the Antisemitan Liga, apparently named to follow the anti kanzala Liga. The League was the first German organization committed specifically to combating the alleged threat to Germany and German culture posed by the Jews and their influence and advocating their forced removal from the country, so far as can be ascertained. The word was first widely printed in 1881.
when Marr published Zwanglo's anti-Semitish hefter, and Wilhelm Scherer used the term anti-Semitan in the January issue of Neue Freie Press. The Jewish Encyclopedia reports, in February 1881, a correspondent of the Allgemeiner Zeitung des Judentums speaks of anti-Semitism as a designation, which recently came into use. On 19 July 1882, the editor says, This quite recent anti-Semitism is hardly three years old. The word anti-Semitism was borrowed into English from German in 1881. Oxford English Dictionary editor James Murray wrote that it was not included in the first edition because anti-Semite and its family were then probably very new in English use and not thought likely to be more than parsing nonce words. Would that anti-Semitism had